warning! This podcast contains spoilers. Hello everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Spider-Man Homecoming, the movie. I'm your host, Spider-Man, clearly. I got the got the shirt from the school to prove it. Spider-Man, do a backflip. <sighs> Swing from the ceiling. I'm your host, Cleo, with me, I have Dom, Mike, and John. What What am I doing here? I just realized I didn't give you guys a warning when but I Dom, started. I just started. What, what, what am I what doing, are you doing here? here? This, this is Marvel. What am I doing here? It's a It's a cross-universe promotion right now. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I dig it. So this is attempt number five at a no six at a Spider-Man movie. Uh, it Do you count sequels it. as attempts? <laughs> yeah, attempts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those are cash-ins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be completely fair, I make fun of the Amazing Spider-Mans. I never watched either of them. I didn't mind the first didn't one. Didn't have any care to watch them. Yeah, I didn't mind the first one. It wasn't anything spectacular, and it was way better than the third Tobey Maguire movie. <laughs> Not that much, but so the, is everything. So you know. At least the third Tobey Maguire <laughs> Spider-Man was a fantastic comedy. Yes, <laughs> it had that going for it. Yes. This one was better in comedic value. Oh, it was because this was actually funny. Not oh, look how fucking stupid that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was cringy funny. Oh my god! Speaking of absolutely hilarious, um, this whole movie starts off with uh, scenes we've seen before. Uh, yeah, he's filming himself when Tony brings him into uh, the fight against the other side of Team Cap, the other mm-hmm. side of the Civil War. Uh, It is so fucking funny. The entire... Like, the movie had just started and I was, like, dying laughing. It was so funny. I'm going into this extremely nervous for two reasons. One, every Spider-Man movie has pretty much bombed in the last couple years. So I'm already skeptical on that point. And two, for me, as... I don't even know if you can call me a Marvel fan anymore... I've been really let down with Marvel, so that that's been on me, you know, whatever going into this being like I'm I'm double worried about this. And then I'm sitting there and this opening scene and as especially coming from Civil War, which I was not really a huge fan of, uh it had its moments. Uh but overall I just I don't know. I it wasn't feeling it. But loved it. I'm sitting there dying of laughter, cracking up. I'm like, is this the tone of the whole movie? Because I'm I'm sold right off the bat, opening scene. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Spider-Man, it was the awkward teenager. So nice to see Happy again. I didn't realize how much, like, I miss that yeah. dude. It's been a while. He I'm is glad so they found a, a role and a purpose for him yeah, now. Yeah, he's you know, got, like, he had, like, a promotion. He's in charge of the tower and, and moving and all that stuff. And it's like, good for, good for you, Happy. <laughs> good for you. You're no longer just, like, the driver who hands Tony his suit. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. I was gonna say he's still the driver. He did drive. <laughs> he did drive. Um, I keep wanting to call him Tom, uh, Peter around. <laughs> yeah. He is like everywhere. Like everyone is obsessed with Tom Holland. He's fantastic. He's really funny. He's yeah, really good. <laughs> See, for me, I personally liked Andrew Garfield better than Tobey Maguire. I don't think Tobey Maguire was that good of a Spider-Man. Um, I don't think Tony I'm not Maguire saying the Spider-Man movies were anything. bad. Yeah, I'm not saying the Sp- like the first and the second ones were pretty good. Um, but the Andrew Garfield, I liked him better uh, as Spider-Man than I did Tobey Maguire. But yeah. Tom Holland just blows both of both them out of the away. water. Totally away. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And it doesn't look like he's playing. You know, he's a, he doesn't look like a 30 year old playing yes. a high school student. He yeah. uh, he looks you know. young enough. That, yeah, that was probably my biggest gripe with with Toby. Uh, and yeah. pulled it off a little better, but you know. And it wasn't even yeah. Of, of course, you know Toby McGuire did look too old. Um, 
but in that movie, Flash, he that that kid looked like he was thirty. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. And I have to I to think mention he was thirty. <laughs> he probably was thirty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the Fl- I like that they made the Flash in this movie. He's not like a brawler dude. Yeah. He's not a sports guy. He's another, you know, he's on the, what was it? The Cathalon? The, 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 whatever that te- yeah, team the is. Yeah, the academic decathlon. A- academic or whatever decathlon. It is. He was on the team, you know. So he wasn't like a meathead. And I like that he was still a bully, but on like the same nerd level. Yeah. I really like how they did. And he just drives the fucking car. The fancy ass car. His dad's car that uh, uh, Peter steals. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna and crashes immediately. And cra- immediately crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, and. Okay, so. The kids. All of them were great. Mm-hmm. Ned is the man. Guy in the chair. Beyond the I want to be your guy. And I love in the that chair. he's he's kind of he's kind of rooted in the comics, uh, the new comics anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I don't think he goes by the same name, mm-hmm. um, but I think like there was a joke or something at one point where he's like, "Oh, just call me Ned," and then that turns out to be his name in the the movie now. So I think it was his inspiration. Oh, okay. But it's not the same character, but it's a very similar character. Mm-hmm. I don't know, because I haven't been following the Spider-Man comics, but I do remember reading that. Yeah, he was kind of my favorite part of the movie. Oh, he was definitely my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> with, with, the, with the Lego Death Star and... Oh, my God. Okay, two things that broke my immersion in this movie. That was the first one. How do I the can hell... argue you. Did a high school student afford a five hundred dollar Lego set? I call bullshit. He could have a crazy rich uncle. He probably has a crazy rich uncle. He definitely has a crazy rich uncle. Or because, a grandparent. Yeah. Like mm, it wasn't established. I don't know, it could be like or one of those things that the whole saving... family chipped together to yeah. buy him a gift that he really wanted, you know, for, yeah. for the holidays. I've had that. You know, or I've had I've wanted saving. only one gift and I had my whole family like chip in. I, I only said family. that. It's it's not even because I mean it. It's a running joke between our friend Rob and I. <laughs> yeah. It is my, he's been it. saving for a year to buy that thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> well he Ew. can now get like the however much money in his Millennium Falcon set that's like the size of a coffee table. I think it's like two grand. It'll be in the sequel. I want that. I don't know. It's a lot of money. I want that. Anyway. Uh, you know, he was... And it, he was just such... He ended up at, literally being the guy in the chair at mm-hmm. the end, which was so funny uh-huh. when the teacher turns the light on. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be in here. I'm watching porn. porn. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> Best save, buddy. Great save there, Ned. Just... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I know he was your favorite part of the movie, but my favorite part of the movie was the vulture. He, listen. Legitimately was, scary to me. I, I was excited when they picked, you know, when they announced it was going to be the vulture that was the, the, the villain because... When I was a kid, I was into all the Spider-Man villains, and I kind of like worried. Huh? I was worried. No, I was so excited for the Vulture because it's 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 a one that really isn't mainstream at all. He's not one of the no, I, he I was. He's that. not one of the cooler Spider-Man villains. That's why I was worried. <laughs> no, I knew I knew but, they were gonna nail it. They did him well, though. They grounded him in like the MCU shit, like. Mm-hmm where his technology was coming from and everything like that. And like John said, they made him, you know, for a kid watching this movie, he, a kid might have been legitimately terrified and have nightmares of that shit. Like, yeah. you know, they made I, him in a... I was scared of him. I had mentioned to Cleo, uh, I don't remember if it was yesterday, the day before, um, it was just, it was this week, and I, I mentioned to Cleo, I go, what really sold me on this movie more than anything is the way they grounded it into the MCU, especially this not originally being in the lineup, especially with this being a partial Sony property. They mm-hmm. took this, because this represents Marvel and Sony's partnership, right, and and 
the possibility of doors to maybe open for Fox in the future and things like that if this goes well. You know, because if this bombed, Fox would have been like, see, this is why we don't do stuff like that. But now, like, this may get Fox starting to think a little bit. Whether they act upon that is a whole other story. But, you know, I'm sure it's getting them to think at least. Mm -hmm. But if this, you know, and, and but putting that all on the line, they had to do really well with this. And by grounding it so deep into the story is what sold it for me. And I have this, I call it a paradox, but it's not an actual paradox. It's the same reason why I like Back to the Future 2. I love Back to the Future 2. It's my favorite Back to the Future movie. But I would not love that movie if the first one didn't exist in the way the events existed. Because what I love about 2 is the interaction with 1 within that movie. So this goes hand in hand. I love this movie, but without like the Avengers, the first movie, and all those events that took place... I don't think I would have liked this movie as much. No, this sure, it's funny and all that stuff, and I would have liked it for that regard, but I don't think I would have been as invested yeah. just without all these crazy ties. You know, it's mm -hmm. just they did so well on that. And it, yeah. honestly, the fact that it's Chitauri technology, there, you know, is it's linking it back to Thanos. I, I think Chitauri is going to be... They, they want to mention them again. They want to have an excuse to mention them again. So you don't forget who it was that attacked New York in 2012. Uh, we're coming up on Infinity Wars and that's going to be important for us to keep remembering. And they do, you know, they've mentioned the incident in every single Netflix Marvel show. All of them so far. There's always one they've, mention of the they've incident. They've mentioned it, but they don't do a good well of representing it. And I still, I really love the Marvel, the Netflix series anyway, yeah. but... It's just, it's in, like, a passing mention. They could have gotten away with that in this, but they didn't. They went above and beyond, and that's what right, really they sold it for Well, because they also had a way to link it directly to it. Like, the Marvel Netflix, there's, there's like, no, like, not yet, anyway, to directly link it to that shit. Not mm. yet. Mm-hmm. Could uh, be. I, I asked, just love getting Michael Keaton in there, yes. though. Yes. Like, you know, I had no idea. This is my own fault for not doing research before going to see the movie. When I saw his face, I was like, wait, Holy fuck, shit. Michael Keaton's in this movie? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know either. And I, like, as it was going on, and I'm like, wait, he's playing Birdman again? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, that just actually up even further. But, that that really far. but it didn't make me mad this time. Right. <laughs> <Good laughs> so I love the irony of it. And, yeah, and oh, yeah. I haven't actually even seen Birdman yet. Um, but I love the irony of that because he's playing the washed up hero, you know, it's a weird okay, Batman, movie. you know, so it's like, it's yeah. meta and now it's double meta, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I liked his character, you know, he was a hardworking dude who the, this government agency just waltzes in and takes his job and they accidentally take a Chitari ship or like piece of a Chitari ship and weapons home and he's like, nah, let's, like, make shit with this. Let's use it. And he does. Uh, and... In, in a very, like, realistically New York fashion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, he like, kind of did. Just fell off that the back was... of a truck. I'm not gonna ask any questions. <laughs> nope. Nope. They had... Yeah, I mean, he had his one... Uh, the character's name I can't remember, but you know he was modifying it, tinkering with it, you know making what? it work. His name isn't even in the wiki. I did all my research this morning. His name isn't even in the wiki. I'm Ooh. just calling him Tech Dude because he doesn't. I, he doesn't have a name. Well, Tech Dude, Tech Dude's the shit out of it, and hey, then they start selling it to people. It's like for like five yeah, so... years, the guy's like, "Do you want me to like make you a a a thing there? You can break the atmosphere." And he's like, "No." How many times do I have to tell you no? And then he's like, hey, about that thing, can you make it for me? And he's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I got this. I would have been, like, like, been like, yeah, sure, just make it. Even if I had no intention of using it, just to <laughs> shut him up. Well, like, now, you know, I or... thought, when he kept mentioning, I thought like a high altitude seal, like, yeah. so you could fly the suit really fucking high. I'm like, yeah. okay, so, you know, why not? But what he meant was attached to the side of the plane thing. And I was like, why didn't you make that years ago? Well, that's fucking brilliant. But no, that's because making that, and this is 
uh, to Tomes, whatever his first name is, that's the Vulture's whole thing, is that under the radar, fly under the radar. Yeah. Nothing big, right. don't make too big a splash. Ha Blowing a hole in the side of a plane is flashy. It's big. It's not his MO. And as soon as, like, Spider-Man is thwarting all of his shit, he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck no, it. No, uh, Lee Silver points out, and Jay said, uh, that would be the Tinkerer. And it is. I just looked it up. For what? Uh, oh, he's the Tinkerer? Yep. <gasps> You're dropping the ball, Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> dropping the fucking ball. <laughs> Yep, just looked it up, and that is, in fact, it. I see his face right now from Homecoming as well attached to it. Just Google it. Yeah. Hmm. I like the uh, series of shockers that we had in the movie. Yes! I also like that he didn't mean to kill the first one. I thought that was the gun that teleported them. No. No, that's the uh. vape. That's the incinerator. I was like, uh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and I Flames love legit surprised. <laughs> yeah, the jacket because it's like the yellow crossed. Ah, it's just the costume for Shocker was like subtle but like on point. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the costume for the Vulture, subtle and on point. He had the bomber jacket with the like the frills for the neckline, and the helmet was fucking awesome. The yeah, whole uh, thing. Everything. Costumes everything. all even Spider Man's costume was fantastic. Yeah. I yeah. love the new suit. The one at the end? All, all of the suits, I all, should say. All yeah. even, even even the, the little goggles. hoodie. Yeah, the hoodie. Even the little hoodie suit. Yeah. I love yeah. them all. Yeah. So I couldn't figure this out during the movie, but mm -hmm. his little hoodie suit, he only had one web shooter for that suit, or did he have two? I would imagine he would have two. I don't I remember. I think one got broken. I or was that what happened? I, you mean in the last fight? Yeah. I think in the fight, one of them broke. One got broke. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Just, maybe you're remembering wrong, check, but that's at, least, remember. that's at least uh, what I remember. Yeah. Uh, Yo, but Iron Spider? I have to say, I don't like the look happening? of the new suit. It's too shiny. I don't like it. Luckily for you, he didn't take it. Yeah. Well, he's going to. I think they released photos well, of him wearing it. So they're not. Gonna, Tony's not going to let him fight in Infinity War without it. No. So. He, as no. well, he shouldn't. <laughs> precious I mean, baby boy. Put that he, damn suit he, on. Precious. Yeah. Put that damn suit on and read the manual for this one. Oh, good Lord. For the well, love of God. Okay. But I like Karen. Here's the problem. I love Karen. Here's the problem. <laughs> Tony gave... Uh, uh, Peter a suit with all these features he locked off obviously but still he gave him a suit with all these features and then didn't teach him how to use it he just said here's a suit fight a war for me and I'm like god damn it Tony <laughs> but here's a suit your only job like initially here's a suit your only job is to trip up Captain America like bind his feet to the ground I know that's your job but, so... but then after that how much time passed like Right, Give but he was only tutorial. he was only set to do petty crimes in New York City. Like he wasn't right. meant to go fight a war at this stage. Yeah, uh, and he was supposed to, yeah. on his own, discover certain things. There was a training protocol set in pr place, and it wasn't an obvious. Hey, you have a training protocol. It's something that he was supposed to learn over time. Um, but and that it was, was part of the slowly activate. That was part of the stuff that was walled off in the in the training wheels program. Like, yeah. he couldn't access the, the thing that taught him how to use everything because Tony well, walled it off. Uh, no, I understand that, but my assumption is it was going to trigger uh, either time released or at the, the event or something, you know, like, when he got to a certain point in his abilities and had so much experience under his belt that he the training protocol enough. would unlock. And then <laughs> he, he would start learning up. things little by little, but... You know, they bypassed that and pissed Tony off. He's level yeah. he's level five wielding a level fifteen sword. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's not... I just the first thing he you know, one of the first thing he discovers after, you know, unlocking it and everything. It's just like activating instant kill. It's like, oh no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. What does that mean? <laughs> Why do you have that? <laughs> like, I seriously want to know what the fuck that is. For for Chitari invaders, obviously. I mean like, yeah. what does it do? I want to know these things. It yeah, probably turns the web oh, into a bullet. I don't know. 
Yeah, like he's got he's he's got different. I like the different shots. It's like he he could throw like a ball of web and like the bouncy shit. Web grenade. The grenade. Yeah, that stuff's so mm-hmm. cool. I can't wait till like he actually knows fire how to shots. use that. Yeah, can't wait till he actually knows how to use that shit. Yeah, she said he yeah. has like a hundred and something different web webs. combinations. Web yeah. yeah, which is nuts. Yeah, we're never gonna see all one hundred of no. them. No, probably not. Obviously not. I don't think they even have them all written. But even so, if yeah. they did, even if they turned Spider Man into a TV series, we still wouldn't see all one hundred of them. Mm-hmm. But I like Correct. that it, it, it can, um, it, like double up, like use two at once, and I don't know. That's just, the suit's really cool, and he needs to actually learn how to use it. <laughs> did you guys know Jennifer Connelly was uh, Karen? No. Yeah. Wait, what? That was Jennifer. That was Jennifer Connelly. Oh. The voice of the suit. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Neat. Well, that's now. Yes. Uh, and I, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention, or maybe it was supposed to intentionally like trip us up, but I didn't know what Liz's last name was. They probably never meant, didn't mention it. No, they didn't. Her. They never said it. They never said it. They, they did that on purpose. Like that. Like, Mike, you were talking about how your Guardians of the Galaxy audience audibly, like, gasped. Everyone in the theater went the dead silent. Went, went, oh. Oh. Chrissy. <laughs> like, when he was in the theater. When he was in the Chrissy, car. I was sitting next to you. I know. <laughs> and I'm mentioning it to everyone else. <laughs> now, I am somebody who is extremely, extremely, and Carlos and, and the rest of the chat right now is going to know, extremely observative when it comes to movies like Saw. And I'm very good at spotting the ending before it happens. Um, that didn't happen here. No, I don't so think... I have to commend them. I the have to give them props. And reaction. That's though. probably another reason why this ranks so high on me. These movies right. don't really fool me. They did that perfect. Oh, yeah. Like, they an- he answered the door just, you know, ah, so you must be Peter. And this is the exact order of events. You know, Door open face. Ah, oh, so you must be Peter. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just for the back of the theater. Yeah, right, there was like the one guy that went The oh, one shit. guy. Just and like way in the back, screams I, that out loud. My mind <laughs> was like just doing circles. I was like, oh my god, he said he had a daughter. He didn't mention his daughter's name. Like all of that stuff just went through my head. I'm like, ah. Uh. But then the whole theater erupts into everyone looking around like, did everyone else just fucking see that? What the fuck? Do you, do you, guys, do you guys know what's happening <laughs> It Somebody was... needs to edit that whole scene with flashbacks of all the events that, like, piece together, like, the puzzle pieces, and put it to the Saw music, and I guarantee you it would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he opened the door, though, my brain shut off, and it was the guy yelling in the back of the theater that, you know, knocked me back into reality. Like, holy crap, how did, you know, how did nobody see that coming? Really? That was I, it. I, would, no one I can't even say I had the tiniest no. clue. No, no. I, nope. I didn't. I felt... Like an idiot, and I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> and that no, fucking see. car ride was so tense. <laughs> oh, oh. The because whole like, every and interaction this, with them was so tense. And I wanted to talk about this. This is why I loved the Vulture in this movie, Tombs, because he was a smart villain. Like, you know, he's sitting there in the car, and the whole time you could see him working it out until, like, it finally just, ding! That's Spider-Man. That's the guy who's been fucking with you. And, like, you know, later when they're in that warehouse and, you know, he's leaning against the desk monologuing and everything. He's not monologuing like a a Bond villain, like I'm telling you my entire dastardly plan. I'm stalling you, motherfucker, because my suit's autopiloting here. (laughs) That, I had Guardians 1 flashbacks. (laughs) I'm distracting you, you turd blossom. Exactly. (laughs) That's basically what he was doing. It's like, yeah, I just need to, you know, distract you for a bit while that started up. It's like, yeah. he like, doesn't oh, do the t- damn. Yeah, that's why he's, you know, up there for me, because he doesn't do the typical villain stupidity. Yeah, he didn't get, like, overconfident. Yeah, no, he's Maybe really Maybe until, smart. like, the end, but... But, yeah, that's only because, I mean, they were yeah, fighting no on a, on top of a jet, you know. Yeah. On top of a jet, and then with that a crashing, crashing jet. A crashing jet. A little dangerous. Yeah. But, like, I, I mean... <sighs> That that scene where the rubble actually fell on on Peter was that that was sort of a tribute to the comics 
because that that happened to him in very different circumstances but like he was trapped and he could not get out of the rubble and i was just like that's actually terrifying because like holy shit he's 14 yeah because yeah. like he's oh god he's still a kid <laughs> He's freaking out, and I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh, God, I forgot. It's like, breathe, mm. breathe, Peter. <laughs> I mean, one of the other little, like, surprise moments, too, was, you know, at the end when MJ? they revealed the MJ. But that, to me, wasn't like, oh, my God, shocking. That, to me, was I actually figured that one, like, right you at did. the end, like, I as the not. reveal. Because re when they went to go in the, her name, and they go... Mary Jane, like I at that moment, I realized they never said her name. Her you name know, like, actually, actually movie. isn't Mary Jane; it's Michelle Jones. No, I know, but it's still that's, MJ. That's she's where my brain MJ. went. You know, yeah. yeah, that's where my brain went. I was like, she's Mary Jane, and then they go, "Oh, just call me MJ." And I was like, "See, I I knew it, but I didn't know it the whole movie. I like called it like literally ten seconds before they said it." Yeah, yeah. We, yeah have to, we have to talk about the about the teacher who. Was being interviewed. He's like, oh. I, can't, I, can't I can't lose a lose student on the student. trip. Not again. It's like, Not again. when did you lose a student? <laughs> like, how irresponsible almost, are you? I can almost guarantee that that was ad libbed. <laughs> can can we be. get a Marvel one shot explaining this teacher's backstory? Please. Please. <laughs> Please. He. You can't. I love that teacher. He was <laughs> just the best part of that school, though. Because, like, you know, oh, you can't just show, you know, miss all the, you know, bail on us and then show back up at the last minute and be back on the team. Yeah, you can. Hey, Peter, welcome back to the team. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All the, I mean, Hannibal Burris was a gym teacher in this movie. And you probably just triggered Chrissy's favorite part of this entire movie. Oh, well, we had to get to it eventually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the PSAs. PSAs. Somebody, I'm sorry, it's it's been a long uh, chat line, and I. It was Jake. Jake, no, well, no, no, no. Someone earlier said, uh, uh, "How did Cap get roped into doing those?" And it's like, if oh. you remember the first Avenger, that's kind of his shtick. Yeah. Publ public service announcements. He did it for the Bonds, and it only makes sense that when he was working for, uh, Shield, because this either happened right before or right after the incident. Um, mm -hmm. that because that's. The, the first Avengers movie costume, which, yeah. fun fact, Chris Evans hates it. <laughs> hates it. <laughs> so That's I like that they, they found the a way better. to... Yeah, they found a way to get him back in it. Uh, oh my god. Those, seriously, though, those PSAs gave me life. Oh, yeah, Red Bandit said, how, how did Captain America get roped in doing the PSAs? So it's you got the does. tension. <sighs> <laughs> Your body's going through some changes. <laughs> I would know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it was, it was Jake that pointed out that he loved he loved that uh, Cap pointed one way and the teacher was on the opposite side of the the TV. TV. Oh yeah! yeah. yeah. It's just. Uh, <laughs> I have to show you this, here. even though even though I think technically he's a war criminal now. Yeah, we're we're still we're still. Bound by you know the the law to to show these or whatever. Board of Ed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you didn't call him an outlaw. They call him a war criminal. A war criminal. War criminal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so great, so great. Um, and there is just. It's 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 gonna be on the DVD and I or is the DVD out already? No, it's not. Cause Spider Man's still in theaters. No, I don't think Spider-Man is not still in theaters. Yes, it is. Some theaters, maybe. Yeah, I, I like accidentally looked it up earlier. But anyway, uh, it, Chris Evans just has a, a whole bunch. He just did, like, a whole bunch. It's like 10 minutes of worth of PSAs. October 17th. I cannot wait to, to see it. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be my favorite thing. 10 minutes of PSAs. Oh, my God. How many more? <laughs> yeah, how many? How many more do I have to do? I have a feeling that was actually Chris Evans saying that, and not, <laughs> and not in, ca not, in not character. Not Chris Evans in character saying no, that. No, no, no. It's not Captain not saying that. Chris Evans said that. How, how many more do I have to do? <laughs> like, come on, guys. That was the end credits one, right? Uh, yeah, where you said that? Yeah. Yes, yeah, because yes, you it went was. on the whole spiel about patience. patience. <laughs> Sometimes you wait, and it doesn't pay off. Well played, Marvel. Well played. Yeah, fine. Hey, it was a very comedic and, you know, 
yeah, I have no other description. It was a very comedic movie, so throw some comedy at us at the end there. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's obsessed with these end credit scenes, and... Yeah. <laughs> it was just so... I was in stitches. But then it it does get serious and dark, and it's just great. This movie was so great. They cut the ferry in half. They cut the fucking ferry in half. Other than they broke every New Yorker's immersion. Oh, the, that there are uh, cars, cars on, on the, the ferry, ferry? That they haven't done cars on the ferry since, like, 1995? They brought it... They actually <laughs> brought it back in 2001, and then a little, you know, incident happened of they our own. They brought it back for, like, three months. <laughs> and then well, they... apparently the MCU don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, it, okay, right. it, it, it looks cool. And it's a more legitimate way of sneaking a bunch of uh, illegal weaponry onto the ferry than in a duffel bag. So I understand yes. why they did it. Which is why, coincidentally, they stopped allowing them on the ferry. <laughs> there was a very good reason for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, should we talk about Tony's role in this movie? Uh, I believe we should. Her at the ferry thing. Uh, his, his, like, delusion that he's Peter's father figure or something. Yeah. Oh, that that like deeply disturbed me because he's like, oh, I'm I'm doing good. I'm pretty I'm doing pretty good at this fatherhood thing. My dad, my dad sucked. I'm like, oh my god, Tony, you were literally not this man's this kid's father. Like, oh. stop, stop, Tony, stop, don't. <sighs> I do think he was right to take the suit away, though. Yes, it, it's I... it's like every hero's got to prove himself one way or another, and this was. I just love he that whole decision on whether or not, you know, to keep the suit. And if you do, then there's a big press conference waiting for you. And then he's like, oh, this is a test. This is a, I'm not going to do it. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> there's then, literally a press conference. In there. No, but it's like, I'm proud of you. You made the right decision. You know, it was totally a test. You know, great. You, you're so, you know, you're so mature, however you put it or whatever like that. And it's like, then Pepper's like, where the hell is he? <laughs> It's a Look, room he, full of reporters. I think he showed a lot of growth there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Tony's sure. praising Peter for showing a lot of growth. Meanwhile, Tony's going to go, like, make a spectacle out of proposing to Pepper. It's like, oh my god, and, Tony. And, but, but mind you, this, is, this was his backup plan, right? <laughs> this, he wasn't going to propose gonna... to Pepper if, oh. if, if Peter uh, went Oh, out. yeah, for sure. She is going to beat the shit out of him with her five-inch heels. <laughs> She's gonna stab it with her five inch heels. Yeah, yeah. But you no, know, that's yeah. I, I love that. It's like okay, press conference for Spider Man. Backup plan: propose. Oh my god! I just like. I mean, that is. Like, happy to have the ring. I've been waiting ten years for you to say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and a... for like a hot second, when I wasn't fully paying attention, I thought it, Happy was trying to propose to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> But that is a very Tony Stark backup plan, though. Oh, for oh, absolutely. For sure. Uh, plan A failed. Uh, I was going to say something. Oh, I, just, I really liked everything about like the, the Tony relationship with, with, with uh, Peter. Really loved that. The, even like Vulture and, and Peter's relationship. I really liked that yeah. because it wasn't... It didn't give me like the, uh, the Green Goblin kind of villain feel and it didn't have like this big huge like redemption moment i mean kind of but not really mm -hmm. you know it wasn't it's not like the sandman you know kind of redemption moment and it's not like you know uh harry and uh not harry well yeah i guess harry and peter or norman and peter and it's it's not like any of the other ones that we've seen in any of the other movies and that's that's what I really liked about it, because it's not a rehash of anything. Any aspect of this was not a rehash at all. No. Yeah, and, like, they left it kind of ambiguous how it's going to go down, because he's in jail, and, you know, they were basically... He could have easily given it away who Spider-Man is, yeah. but he didn't. He didn't. Because, you know, yeah. Peter actually, like, you know, pulled showed, him out of the fire. Showed him respect, too. And, uh -huh. I mean, yeah. it's not just that. He knows Peter's a kid. Yeah. He knows he's like 15, 16. Yeah, yeah. and sending hardened criminals after a 16 year old is really fucked up. Yeah, yeah. and, and he's, he's not a a bad dude. He did bad things to provide for his family. And right, then yeah, it got out exact, of hand. 
He's not exactly a you know a hardened mass murderer or anything like that. Right, and, and that's like, what made him feel compelling. I think I have to mention the guy who who is in jail, who uh, the vulture and his crew were trying to deal on the ferry to. Uh, was it Mac Gargan? His nickname, one of his aliases, literally is Crazy Guy. He's referred to as Crazy Guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Crazy Guy wants to kill Spider Man. Isn't that the scorpion? Is that I'm not the, mistaken? Uh, the man in the prison. The man in the prison is a scorpion. He might be. He might he end up be being. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's. It's any the same other. name. That's who that is. is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's a scorpion. But, but you know, the part I was talking like ambiguous, leaving like when Toombs gets out, what's he gonna do? Probably track down Spider Man. I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't see I, him being a good guy in any capacity in the future. I mean, it depends because, like, he's not going to probably be back in New York. His family moved to – where did Liz say she was going? I don't remember. Uh, west but somewhere. Yeah, they're they're gone. I mean – They probably went back to family or whatever. If his family even takes him back at that point, I guess. But I, I don't know. Yeah. We probably won't see him till the next Spider-Man movie, though. I had to guess, if at all, if at all, yeah. I think we'll get like a small little cameo, but I don't think he's going to have any major role. Yes, uh, tidbit. Mm-hmm. With with the Vulture character and, and stuff, I, I think a good time to bring him back would be the third, because the third we have unwritten movie ro- movie laws for trilogies and, and things like that. And in the third movie, you always bring back something that you didn't know from the first movie, Morgan. you know, to, to come back and haunt. And that's, you know, you look back and you even do a Harry and the Green Goblin and, and all that in the Tobey Maguire trilogy. Like, it, it goes back and does that. So I think I think there will be something involving Vulture to some degree in the third Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, well, it's not going to be called Homecoming 2 and Homecoming 3, but whatever it's called, but, you know. Uh, yeah, and that's something they're saying they're going to do another Spider-Man trilogy, and I... I'd be okay with it if it's the same qual if it is the quality of this movie. Yeah. Yeah, and we got a lot of teases about where it could go. uh, There are so many more characters I'd want to see more. Uh, I hope it's more than just a trilogy, because right now, maybe they're they're scheduled for a trilogy, but if this continues to do well through the third movie, there's no way they're going to be like, oh, guys, we said it's just a trilogy, so we're going to stop. I no, well, this, I would if this like, does good, it's going to keep no, going. No, no, but I would like a couple Spider-Man movies and then him actually join the Defenders and have, like, an actual continuing... Because yeah. he's... Yeah, no, and... He, well, in, Sony like, did learn the Spider-Man. hard way that uh, that uh, Tom Holland is not available for them to use in their other movies. Like, oh. this, this, is the, this is their joint property and the, Tom yeah. Holland is yeah. the shared... Spider-Man between Sony and Marvel. Um, Oof, so I don't rough. know how Marvel's end of the deal works. Marvel may be able to use him outside of Sony's deal. I don't know for sure. But I think they still have to get like some kind of written permission. But Sony doesn't have to like be producing or anything. The, you know, I don't know how that works. But it's a, it's a fierce we do custody know, battle. We do know because uh, Sony is currently in the, the works of creating their own Spider-Man shared universe. Which is really, really funny because Spider Man can't be in it. Nope, but they're gonna throw a Venom movie at us. Yeah, they have to give us a Venom movie. Hey, Tom I mean, Hardy if we're is... looking, if we're looking at multiple timelines or, or multiple universes, even uh, the Spider Man comics are doing that right now with Spider Gwen with Miles. Uh, right, but unfortunately, movie contracts are a little different. They yeah, cannot oh, use Spider Man at all in their universe, even so a it's different like actor. Venom's the hero. No. No, Venom's the villain. There's no hero. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> he might be fighting Carnage yeah. or something. Well, yeah. and I mean, there uh, are there that's... are versions where Venom is 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 a hero, and he's he's latched onto Flash. Flash, I think it's yeah. it's usually Flash. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, in 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 some sense, I think this is going to be okay as like Spider Man as a franchise because th- he can interact with the other characters in the MCU. You know that. Yeah. Um, you know he ha- you know you have it's it's like in this movie it wasn't just a Spider-Man movie we got to see more Tony Stark and like maybe in the next movie he gets to interact more with like you know pick some more obscure character that we never Daredevil. get to see like 
Yeah. To be honest, this felt as close to an Iron Man 4 as we're going to get. Uh, probably. You know? Probably. Yeah. The way there. Yeah. Because you know, Tony's, was, you know. He was a huge, huge part of this movie. Granny was on screen all the time. But I loved it. We got development from Tony, not just, you know, Spider Man. And, and uh, I don't know. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. One thing we, one person we haven't talked about yet Aunt May. Oh, we did not talk about Aunt May. Ridiculously hot Aunt May. <laughs> As Tony puts come it. in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> uh. I. Aunt May was great. We didn't get much of her, and I, I liked. I liked that we didn't have to rehash Uncle Ben dying. Yeah, I they liked that we didn't have it. to go there. And I mean, they didn't have to go there, and they didn't have to have the spike fighting him. And yeah, it's like seeing you know, it's like seeing Thomas and Martha Wayne get shot and the pearl necklace fall. Oh my god! Every fucking, fucking time. time. Oh my god! I like, can't take can't take it anymore. Batman, Marvel. stop it! <laughs> we know your we parents know. are dead. Move on. I Everybody. love that that was the first scene of the Gotham TV series, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, every fucking one. <laughs> every so, like, one. Every time. Between comic fans, movie fans, TV fans, or just word of mouth, yeah. everybody knows you know Spider-Man's origin story. He was bitten by a radioactive spider. That's the what? gist of it. <laughs> so like, everybody already fucking knows that. We don't need it. We are Almost everybody knows his Uncle Ben died. We yeah. don't need it. Thank and, you. And for taking they mentioned it enough by saying... There. Like, yeah, I think Aunt May even said, like, you know, we've been through enough. Like, mm -hmm. that's all she had to say. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, Peter even says knew. it to Ned. He says, yeah. don't, she the, can't I know. I think the name Uncle Ben was only said once in the entire movie. Uh. Boy. It might not even have been said at all. I don't, I don't think so. They might, they might not even have mentioned his name at all. But I, no, it was said once. I remember okay. it being said. I yeah. was keeping track because I was I was going into that movie like with an Thinking. Uncle Ben tally. Yeah. And and it was mentioned I'm almost positive it was only once. It could have been said twice, maybe I lost track, but it was, it was to my knowledge it was only once. But even like the spider thing, like he he basically like Ned was just questioning like how would you get your powers? So like, like can I get bit by the spider? Well, the spider's dead. Ned. Oh. <laughs> we make another one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, we, we See, mentioned other universes before, and I did mention Miles uh, Morales, another Spider-Man. We have a character in this movie that is connected to Miles, uh, and that is Prowler, who is named Aaron Davis. He mentions he has a nephew, and he cares about, you know, yeah. the, the community. Uh, his nephew is, is Miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, though, uh, the connected. only thing that I really liked about the Andrew Garfield, the second movie, which is horrible, by the way, the only thing I liked about that one was they actually gave an origin of why the spider's bite worked for only Peter. Oh, yeah. And it's not something that, like, anybody could have gotten bit with. Uh, it had a reason why it only worked with his blood... Uh, type, you know, whatever, like, specific DNA, and why it melded and fused with that. That I liked. That I would like to see brought in at some point if they do try to explain or somebody gets the idea of maybe we could replicate the spider. I would like that um, maybe brought back, because that, that was really cool the way they handled it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's the first time I've actually ever heard that explained. Like, I don't think any of the, the comics or anything, to my knowledge, ever explained why the bite worked for peter yeah i mean but you know they'll experiment they'll try to replicate the spider they'll think gamma rays are the trick and then we'll get spider hulk no <laughs> uh-huh john's reaction made that no. perfect for me i know i'll just see myself out now but i'm comfortable so <laughs> yeah and I think uh, Carlos, meant, Carlos in chat mentioned earlier that um, Aunt May sees him as Spider-Man at the end. And they cut off her cursing. And it was funny. <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about her knowing. I jumped up I and cheered at the end of the movie. Yeah, like, I, as I'm soon not... as it cut in credits and I just like, 
sat shocked for one second. I actually jumped up and cheered. Yeah. I was so happy that happened. You have no idea. I'm, I, I hate... I hate the, like, what's my secret, like, superhero thing. It Like, yeah. I've just seen it so much, it fucking bothers the shit out of me. It Isn't really it, does. In the Peter Parker, I mean the Peter Parker, wow. In the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans, they kind of alluded to the fact that Aunt May knew all along, but she never outwardly said anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and it was always like, oh, but you should tell MJ how you feel, even though you're running around and you're really busy. I think she would have time for you, mm-hmm. you know, like. And it was like she was having like these awkward. I don't remember. I'm paraphrasing, but mm-hmm. they were like these really awkward. Like I know you're Spider Man, but I'm not going to tell you that because I think I I want you to still think you're protecting me, kind of, you know. And it it just that rubbed me the wrong way. So I'd rather Aunt May just know outright. Yeah, it's huge, different. It and I think that's why it's so great. It shakes. Yeah. Yeah, because because how I mean the shtick of him sneaking home all the time is going to get old eventually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I've like, done this for months and months and months already because we know this. This took place what three to six months after. Uh, yeah, and uh, he had been doing it a couple months before Civil War as well. Yeah, yeah. So he's been at this already for almost a year, you know, nine yeah. months. And it also sets up a comedic, hilarious phone call from Aunt May to Tony. <sighs> Did you know about this? Which is just going to be a long line of bleeps and yeah, just you know, blank like outs a and very strong hand gestures. Uh, gonna... I want in my head cannon when that happens. Uh, I want Tony to say language and then think a cap and get sad a little. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to basically be like, no, I want know. I want Cap to be standing next to Tony. <laughs> I don't want it to be a phone call. And I want him to just, like, look over... Like, maybe he's in the background working on something and just turns around and goes, language? <laughs> him he's and his child beard... Present. Oh, my God. I It's... <sighs> Infinity Wars. No, don't kill. get there yet. It's gonna kill me! Already... It's, I'm dead. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> the beard. But, like, speaking of, like, I think it needs to happen because, you know, it may knowing just because, like, I need her freaking the fuck out when he's fighting Thanos and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like... I, I, you know, um, you know, I, it, it, it's, it's just, I, and I think for the next, it's not even really for Infinity, but for the next Spider-Man movies, it will just open things up a little bit because maybe like then we could have some inter- interesting conversations between them about what it means to be Spider-Man, mm-hmm. you know, more so than just like the Uncle Boone. Great power, great responsibility. But, but, yeah, that, that could go that could go fly out the window. Yeah. And them actually having a real conversation of like, all right, but you're also in high school, kid. So <laughs> yep. you need to figure your shit out. Yes, Done, yeah. And like the only other way that they could have really shaken things up is to uh, have Aunt May be the one that died and Uncle Ben survived. Like that is the only other way they could have sh- shook things up. Other than on May knowing, you know, but yeah. uh, I think that would have been an interesting take. But I think that also would have gone so far off of you know the the expected Spider Man, and I like the yeah. diversity. You and know, then like, they would have had a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. They so would like, have had to relive it over again. So yeah, yeah. this saves that yeah. from having to happen. But I but I do like that idea of like what you know a nice what, what if. if. Yeah. Which, yeah. hey, oh. listen. But we wouldn't have had the Aunt May Tony Stark dynamic oh, that yeah. I think works no, so it's, well. It's fantastic. Movie. Because and her yeah. terrible meat love. Uh-huh. And Tony's just. Just. <laughs> 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 All right. I think that's it, fellas. Overall, great. Fucking amazing. Probably, probably my favorite Marvel movie. This is At the, hands they, down my favorite Marvel it movie. It has dethroned Winter Soldier for me as my favorite mo- Marvel movie. Oh, C- Civil War still gets me in the feels. It's, it's right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the emotional attachment to Bucky and and uh, <laughs> Cap the way that uh, Cleo does. So it's just that movie yeah. didn't do it for me. Yep. Okay. Dom, where can people find you? You can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Mike. They can find me also down below at Philadrin on Twitter. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot about Phenomenon. Listen, I'm so focused on this <laughs> podcast, dude. I don't have time to make fun of you. 
confused. <laughs> I had, I, I, it didn't feel right. Focus. Laser John, focus. what about you? You can find me at No More No More on Twitter. You can find me at Cleo Moto, and you can find all of us at ASOTV Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google+, and right here on YouTube. Follow us for some more podcasts from some of your favorite TV shows, video games, and movies. Until next time. Bye, guys. Until next time, which I might not be on a Marvel property. Probably Patience. won't be on. Spider-Man 2 in a year we, and a half. This, this, this podcast is a fluke. <laughs>